हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर उधेश सिंह एंड आई वेलकम यू टू उधेश अकेडमी फ्रेंड्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट डिसीजन इन अवर लाइफ इज वेन टू वर्क हार्ड एंड वेन टू क्विट इवन दो द पॉपुलर स्लोगन नाउ अडेज इज नेवर नेवर क्विट बट दैट्स अ वेरी फेलेसियस एंड दैट्स अ वेरी स्टूपिट सजेशन बिकॉज एन इंटेलिजेंट पर्सन शुड नो वॉट ही शुड डू and what he should not do he should know what he can achieve and what he cannot achieve and he must rather focus his energies on something which he can achieve rather than wasting his energies on something which he cannot achieve now today i am going to discuss as to how we can decide as to what we should choose and what we should quit please see this picture you can see a uh, two sumos there is a big sumo and there is a small sumo no prize for guessing that if they fight who is going to win it's very clear that this is small sumo who is not even 20% of the size of the big sumo cannot win against the challenger and therefore he has to lose now please see another picture now there are two basketball player one is very tall maybe around 7 feet there is another basketball player who is very short maybe 5 feet now suppose both of them play basketball game no prize for guessing who is going to win naturally the person who is taller is going to win all over the world height is an advantage for playing basketball game in the same way every profession requires some inherent qualities for example if you want to become a film star a hero you must be good looking tall and of course you should know acting well in the same way if you are writing an exam like iit or let us say cat you have to be very very intelligent in the same way if you are writing a competition like civil services you must have lot of perseverance you should have a good memory every profession require a particular type of skill to succeed if you have that skill then only you can succeed now let's take an example of how we can decide when to work hard and when to quit let us say you are writing cat common admission test for admission into iit im and your goal is to go let us say in im ahmedabad where the minimum percentile required for getting an interview call is 99% so after your graduation you wrote your competition and you got say 70 percentile you are disappointed and you saw that many of the people right after graduation got something like 99 or even 100 or 98 nevertheless you joined a job along with the job you kept preparing for cat perhaps you have taken some coaching and next year your percentile improves you get 90 percentile so there is a tremendous improvement it means that you can further improve now what you did you quit the job prepare for cat again work for one full year work very hard but next year also your percentile is just 91 now should you again keep on trying or should you quit and get whatever you want whatever you get at 91 90 percentile so here you have to take a call see i have seen the people who are so brilliant and who has such tremendous aptitude that almost effortlessly they can get 99 or 100 percentile and at the same time there are people who are working very very hard for several years and unable to cross 1995 so we have a maximum limit and we can't breach that maximum limit a person who is having a 5 feet height cannot beat a person who is a 7 feeter it's impossible in the same way what is visible in the physical world is also there inside us in the intellectual world also we have a limitation and it is better that we understand our limitation and quit when we understand that we have reached our peak but that does not mean that you will be not succeeding in other professions maybe you can be a excellent marketing person maybe you can be excellent entrepreneur maybe you can excellent uh, leader you can be so many things mahatma gandhi was a total failure as a advocate but he became an outstanding leader had he tried to be just a uh, advocate perhaps people would not have even known who mahatma gandhi was because he was not getting even case but because he tried his luck in politics he became the most successful leader in the world so we have to explore and find out in which area we are good and that is the area we should work hard because in that area with little effort we'll get much more success 
and we will be able to satisfy our goal of life and we can achieve greatest thing in our life. So I hope that you have been able to understand that just hard work does not play. You have to work hard in the area where you have certain talents, aptitude and abilities, then only you will succeed. If you identify that a particular area is not meant for you, please don't waste your time there by working hard. Rather, you switch over to an area where you have better aptitude because you have got better chances of success. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please keep watching the video and keep sharing it with other people and keep sharing your views in the comment section. And thank you very much.